upset about SEMA and NBAA being canceled? Don't worry, NC has you covered. We'll be going live and bringing the trade show experience directly to you. We'll be demoing upholstery machines, automat machines, answering your questions, and providing significant discounts, just like you'd see at SEMA, NBAA, and IBEX. Tune in to win thousands of dollars in NC sewing machines, tools, and supplies. Join us when we go live. Hey everybody, welcome to our second live trade show. Today's live trade show and discussion is gonna be about auto, aircraft, marine, and RV interiors. And essentially the machines that our company um, sells and offers. Within this, we're gonna have specials, if you're live in here, I think you already know we're doing a 30 inch long arm sewing machine giveaway. Um, to touch on the specials, this is the SEMA special that we run every year. You have big discounts, free shipping on certain items. Um, you have a five year extended warranty as well on the machine purchases you make and those are all good. Pause here for a second, Ryan. Those are all good through November 6th of this week. So Friday of this week, through 5 p.m. Eastern, if this is something you want to do as far as a purchase goes, this is the time. Um, I don't want anyone to forget about our NC Auto Interior of the Year Award. It has been postponed, just extended until December 1st. So you got a little extra time. A couple of our big international friends and clients requested an extension. So we're hoping they come through and get their submissions in. And also a couple of domestic guys as well, which is quite nice um, just to beef up the, the entries. Okay, you can move on to the next slide. Anyway, the NC family is, has been intact, the same family since 1947. Most of our machines are made in the USA. Uh, carpet machines are made in the USA and Japan. Our upholstery machines are made in Japan, as well as Taiwan, and we actually do have some made in China, uh, as are a lot of the other OEMs. Our family is predicated not just on quality equipment, uh, we aim to provide service, and you know, we feel that service is paramount. It's our number one focus. Uh, when we want something, we want it right away. And we feel that service is paramount and no one is gonna touch our service. That is my boast for the day. Um, we take a great deal of pride in providing you equipment that's gonna help your business grow. Maybe some tools you're gonna see today that can help your business grow as well as some supplies. Um, we'll start rolling into slides and just, you know, if you guys have, have a question, fire away. I have someone here in the audience and across from me fielding questions. So, you know, fire away on the, um, the questions. We're gonna take as many as we can. Um, so, you know, feel free to, to have at it and we'll see if we can, you know, get some questions answered and anything that's bothering you guys, worrying you, things you wanna see, things you're interested in. And it doesn't just have to be our products. I mean, we always, always help promote people that we do business with, people that we know have exceptional service, have good products, things you may need. For instance, like, uh, you know, embroidery or uh, embossing and debossing. You know, someone I know that has been doing it for a long time, Ed from High Class Customs down in Louisiana, something like that. If you're looking for leather OEMs, we can recommend a number of OEMs. Whatever the case, you just let us know if there's something you're worried about or you want a second opinion on, fire away. We're here for that as well. Here's some slides. This one is of a um, auto, I think it was a boat interior we did for a customer. We cut up some of their mats, showed them some of the move maneuverability of our 1508 binder with attachment. This I was visiting AIP in Kansas a couple years ago, aircraft interior products, and they were nice enough to show us working on a Hawker Beechcraft. And this was some of the crazy cutouts they had to do, and they employ our model BAC carpet binder. Last year at SEMA, Danny from DJ Designs and his team won the NC Auto Interior of the Year contest. Actually, that was two years ago. And here's Courtney Hansen with us at our first SEMA since 2014. We came back to SEMA in 2017 and uh, had her in the booth to greet some guys and do some signatures. And this is our NBAA show. Aircraft has been, been our biggest niche market 
uh, you know, since our company was founded and we serve everybody from the Gulf Streams, Embraer's, Boeing's of the world, all the way down to carpet mills like the Scott Group, Caligridis, et cetera, as what Red Rock, and all the way down to mom and pop upholstery shops, interior completion centers. Here's our 30 inch long arm that we'll be giving away after the live stream. And I encourage you, get involved with the live stream, ask questions, post some of your work, tag us on the post. These involvements are gonna help you win this machine. Here's last year at SEMA, some of the guys hanging out in the booth. And we get that a lot. Our booths are very active with clients, uh, interested, uh, you know, potential clients and friends. You know, I am not a mechanical person. My side of it for our business is the people side. Um, I've always been drawn to that and, you know, doing our marketing and our websites and things like that. I'm not mechanical. I'm the first in our family. That's not, unfortunately. But we have a nice team and it kind of all works together. This is when we gave away the trophy last year. And um, we're going to roll to a video now on a testimonial from uh, Jeffrey at AIP in Kansas. Al and his team at NC has really helped us grow our business through the exceptional service that they provide and, and the products as well. All right, guys. So these are some images you're going to scroll through, seeing we offer binding tapes as well as surging yarns and different byproduct for the carpet binders and carpet sergers. Um, you know, for like the upholstery machine. So, you know, we, we offer shears, LED lights, uh, all kinds of things that you can uh, purchase from us. It's not just about the machines. We do have the supplies. And we have one more video and audio from Jeffrey. One more round, and then I'll be back to business. I've been with the company for 10 years, and since I've been here, we've used the same NC surging machine throughout that time, and not one time have we had to send it, send it in to be serviced. All right, guys, I think we're gonna roll into the first category, if I'm not mistaken, which will be our carpet binders and uh, for the auto aircraft and marine interior carpet applications. So you guys deal with a lot of difficult, um, a lot, of different, a lot of difficult angles, inside turns, inside seat tracks, radiuses, and this has always been an issue. It's been difficult. It's something that you, a lot of companies do by hand. I know like a lot of the, the automat guys, they do most of their mats by hand, and it does come out quite nice. In cases where you can't do it by hand or you have volume, um, the machines, we have a couple machines that are really come in handy. We have our bobbinless BAC, which you'll see doing work here for on another Hawker Beechcraft. Um, interior that was done at AIP there in Kansas. I'm going to give them credit for helping us with that. And essentially, it's a walking foot, bobbinless table model, the BAC, and it allows you to bind thousands of feet without changing thread. At the same time, you can use the machine all day long. They're built to last, made in the USA, and you can handle a lot of your different angles exponentially easier than you would with a stock sewing machine or a stock carpet binder. Um, I think we have some video on the BAC, which will be popping up shortly. Here it is set up on the table motor and stand. And like I said before, it's bobbinless. So the little baby bobbins that you guys are used to using are replaced by a 6,000 yard cone of thread, which will, you know, last you many, many jobs before you have to stop and change thread. The only thing you're stopping to change is your product and your binding tape every 400 foot or so. Here's some more images of some, um, you know, aircraft inserts. Now we have our model NC1508 class binder, NHB. This model unit uh, is what you're used to. It's a bobbin type walking foot. Very maneuverable, works fantastic with our tapes on automats. A number of our clients have been purchasing these from us for many years. They work really, really well. We're actually working on an attachment for leather as we speak, trying to get it off the ground. It's quite difficult when you guys bind with leather. I know how nice it comes out by hand, but we are working on it now and see if we can get it um, you know, up to par with some of the work that we see out there. But if you're, lo you're looking for polyester or vinyl or regular tapes, cotton, this machine is a complete home run, and um, you know, we really can't keep them in stock, especially for high volume workrooms.
Just some images of some jobs that we've done over the years. I think this one, if I remember, was from Cobalt Boats, but it's been a while. A couple of automats you'll see cook through here real quick. And these are all done with our BAC or our 15.8 class, 1508 class binder. We'll be moving on to our next section, which is on our ultimate cornering carpet binders, carpet sergers, forgive me. This is our model 81200 Air Series, and you can set these up a multitude of ways with the rear puller, without the rear puller. Uh, for aircraft and auto interiors, typically it's without the rear puller. And what these will do is you will uh, lay down a carpet surge with a tape underlay in one step. The tape underlay stops the carpet pile from busting through your surge, which is tremendous. You do not have to employ the tape. It is there as an added feature. Um, these units are, were invented by our family back in 2004 with all kinds of companies requesting it, especially at that time in the aircraft industry because surging is so prevalent. Uh, we're going to stop for a second. There's a question. Andrea, can you fire that off? Uh, Robert Jewell asked, do we have a surge binder? There is no such animal. You either have a binder or you have a serger. So if you want genuine surging, you have to buy a serger. If you want to do binding, you have to buy a binder. Now within a binder, you can do all different kinds of edgings. It doesn't just have to be just leather or just polyester or just a three inch border. Anything you want with our binders, you, it's just an attachment of way. You can go back to that video, that'd be great. This is our model 81200 Air 3 thread. This setup is specifically for aircraft. You'll see these employed um, on United, American, all the different airlines, and that's a three thread setup. Here's our portable serger for guys that have to be on the job site with um, a machine. Our portable serger is our biggest seller, not necessarily to the auto and aircraft industry. Guys like Flying Colors, uh, Jet Aviation, they employ our portable sergers because they're con they're, they have teams that move about. But um, portable sergers, a lot of our, just pause here for one second, a lot of our um, customers on the carpet side that are doing residential and commercial carpet, that portable serger is invaluable to them. They can take it anywhere they want, do it anywhere they want, in a hangar on a floor, in a garage, and they can accomplish all their work in limited space. It's like carrying a you know, heavy suitcase, so to speak, take it right on the job site. Okay. I think we're just gonna scroll through some images here and I'm getting prompted for some more questions. Andrew, why don't you fire me off a question, hun, see what we got. Okay. Uh, the what? The rope look binder. I don't know, that I really that has nothing to do with the aircraft order or marine side, so I'm going to skip that one. Sorry, Robert. Moving on, we have a carpet serger here that is showing more aircraft interiors, and I can't remember who gave this to us. So whoever did, please forgive me. But um, you can see all the acute angles and different cornerings that you have to encounter. It's quite difficult. Nothing easy about it. The machines make it easier, but the person operating the machines is the key. That is the essential piece. Um, I always tell people, if you're gonna jump into doing this, if you can find someone to hire that has done it before, especially for aircraft interiors, that is essential. Um, if you're a great sewer, that's an amazing, um, you know, an amazing advantage as well. Just some automats that have been done with some of our machines, the carpet sergers. And now we're gonna get into our walking foot machines. Okay, for all the interiors. We have long arms, standard arms, twin needles, post beds, cylinder beds, leather skiving machines. Uh, within this section, you're gonna see a couple of cameos from some um, industry standouts, one of which is Shane from Sewn Tight, another Chris from Bucks Customs, and they're gonna lend some of their expertise on um, using our twin needle machine as well as our leather skiver. And just some images scrolling through here. I think this is done by my friends at, in Arizona, Arizona Hot Rod Interiors, and just some more images. And I have a question, go ahead. Yes, we do. We have the attachments in stock, ready to go. You just give us a call at the office, so we can ship them out for you. We can send you the attachments or the entire kit, whichever you prefer. The attachments are $175 each, and the kit 
when you call, depending on what you need, with or without a swing gauge, you're in the 300 to 350 range. Camp out here for one second, Ryan. I like this slide. Okay, we've done this over the years, um, going back to my uncle and grandfather days when they would buy out garment factories and workrooms. Essentially go in, someone's going out of business and they need to sell their machines, or someone's going into business and need to fill their workroom with machines. So if you ever have a facility that needs to be completed or you need advice on machines that need to go in there, uh, we do free consultations. Uh, of course, at some point, you know, we're going to give you pricing on machines and hope that you bless us with that business, whether it's our units or other brands, whatever the case. We are experts in setting up complete sewing machine facilities. I'm going to move on to the next machine. This is our model NC6L. Uh, this is our 30 inch long arm that we are giving away today. Okay, for being involved in the chat, coming into the live stream, you are automatically entered into this. And tag us on some posts that you guys are doing on some work that you're proud of. Uh, this long arm's tremendous. It's been with our family before my time. So you're going prior to the year 2000, I think early 90s, if my dad could pinpoint it to me. Um, Machine's great. I mean, everyone from Interiors by Shannon on down the line, uh, standout companies. Pause here for a second. Standout companies I can think of that have it in the um, aircraft section. Oh boy, everybody, you know, I, I, I'm drawing a blank, but the machine's been with our family. It's the longest tenured specialty machine that we have. Um, this next unit is newer. It's our model 25 inch long arm NC 1508 L25. You can play that next slide, buddy, sorry. I mean to pause it on you there. And this is extra heavy duty 1508 class lift. It's the first 1508 long arm. We started importing this about two years ago. It's been a great success, whether you're doing the heaviest of materials, the thickest of materials, or even just standard seats, you know, in upholstery work, it can handle it all. Um, it, it's, it's been a true asset to some workrooms. This model here is our NC5L. We've had this unit for years. It's a long arm compound walking foot combination zigzag. Now this unit is great for the marine industry because a lot of time with uh, yacht interior, yacht sails and different things, they need the zigzag. It's not something every, it's not for everyone. Pause here for a second. It's not for everybody, but if you need it to have zigzag for any application, you know, we'll sell a handful of those machines a year. And you know, they're like all our other machines, they're built to run all day long. Um, and there's more information. You can see them on the website if that's something new that you haven't seen before. We don't typically promote it, but it's definitely a good machine. Now we're gonna move into our double needles. And this first one is our long arm double needle, model NC11L. And that's the one that's behind me as well here on stage. You'll see in a second. There she is. <laughs> I wanted to put the 30 inch there, but it was a little too big and cumbersome on the stage, so we left it. Let's pause for a question. And what's the question? The, oh, the, uh, the pattern shown in the video? No, we don't, but that is from uh, Leather Seats Prime. If you call Leather Seats Prime, that's where I got mine from. And as for Eric, he's, I believe Eric's the owner, he'll take good care of you. And they have good quality, uh, you know, patterns there. Okay, now we're gonna roll into another twin needle machine. This is our model NC11. And I believe this is where we're gonna queue up Shane from Sewn Tight Interiors in Kentucky. Or not yet. Soon. <laughs> there may be one or two more images. Oh, another image of the twin needle long arm. Same machine. We had a single needle, ver uh, short arm version and the twin needle version. You can change the gauge spacings if you do regular three eighths, one quarter inch. You just let us know and we'll set the machine to exactly, exactly what you need. And here's our model NC11. Hey, thanks for checking in. Uh, this is Shane and Jessica from Stone Tight Interiors in Taylorsville, Kentucky. Today I'm working on my NC11 double needle. Uh, it's a great machine. But one thing to always keep in mind when you're working on a double needle is keep your pressures even. That way you can get a consistent seam. If not, it'll pull one side to the other. If you do that, you'll always have a perfect, uh, perfect stitch to give your customers.
You can pause it here, please. And just come back to me on the feed. Okay, big thanks to Shane. Uh, Shane had the idea for the video about a month or so ago. Shane came through for me. Just want to give him a big shout out and a thanks him and Jessica for doing that. They have a great shop, great people. Uh, they have equipment from us, as you can see, and um, put out some really nice cars. I'm sure you guys have seen, seen them on our feed as well as theirs. And there's a question. Ange, can you? Yeah, uh, do you offer a double needle machine with a post for sewing French beans on ACC? Yes, it's coming up right now, actually. So let's roll into the double needle post bed. That was perfect timing. Here's our twin needle post bed machine. And again, we could change the gauge. Usually it's 3 eighths. That's, the, you know, 99% of the machines that will sell once in a while, quarter inch. You have high lift, you have reverse. The biggest feature on here is the split bar. Split bar allows you to make exact inside and outside turns by simply manipulating the mechanisms there. We have online instructions on YouTube that shows you how to do it as well. And it, what a post bed does for you, it gives you optimal maneuverability. That's the key. So different jobs, you can pause here for a second. Different jobs that you have on the flatbed machine that drive you crazy, that makes it hard for you to manipulate the sample or make turns, whether it's a furniture corner, whether it's a headrest, um, or just you know French seams that you have to bunch up inside the machine. The post bed machine is tremendous. Now, there's another machine that provides a low-cost alternative to the post-bed machines, and that's the cylinder bed, which we're going to roll into next. Cylinder bed machine also provides really good maneuverability, uh, not as much as the post-bed, and we only offer it in a single needle. We can get twin needle, but there's usually a six to eight week wait at minimum. And I see a question coming through. Ange, what do you got? What's the thickest material the NT6L can do? The thickest material. That's a good question. I've done six to eight ply of leather without an issue. Um, if you're on that message board, guys, uh, I know a bunch of guys that have the NC6L are on there, and maybe someone can answer it for me, because we really don't tangle with it that much. We'll take, you know, six or eight plies of leather, run it through every machine we sell, and we send it out the door. We know it's going to handle thickness. Uh, we have had instances where someone will send in, um, like a cargo net we had from Alaska uh, about two years ago, that new 1508L25. Their cargo nets, every time you'd come to a seam, where there was a cro cross seams in the middle, it almost felt like cement. And uh, our long arms ate it up, even the NC6L. But for something like that, the, uh, the, the 1508 class really comes in handy. So if you're doing the heaviest, heaviest of work, go with that 1508 class. It's gonna give you an extra high lift if you're getting to real thick, thick, thick stuff. Another question? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you use for a bobbin thread while sewing Tex 270 contact thread? I would only use on bobbin threads. I've said this a million times. I know everyone has their own rules. You shouldn't use more than 69 or pre wounds Otherwise, if you're using 92, that's fine too. But every machine we set up, uh, NC machines, we'll set them up with 69 on the bottom. And all our units can work up to 210 on the top. You don't have to change needles with our machines, and if you want to, from thread to thread, it's gonna work just the same. Uh, no adjustments need to be made, whether you go from 69 or 210, maybe some you know, tension, but you guys know better than we do. Another question, yes. Yeah, um, what's the best machine for sewing polycarbonate? What's the best machine for sewing polycarbonate? Now you're above my pay grade. I don't have the slightest clue. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the chat room can help, and uh, if someone can't help in there, private message me directly, and I will find out. Sorry about that. And another question. Go ahead. While we're here. A speed reducer for higher torque thick Well, the servo motors that the machines get sent out, you could slow them down. They'll slow them down or speed them up. Sometimes it's not enough. And I've had a lot of customers that have brought that to my attention. And what I've told them to do is, hey, look, you know, you're buying a machine from us. Let me send you a smaller pulley. It'll be in the drawer when you get it. And if you really want to, if your normal speed range is from here to here and you want to lower it down a little bit more, we give you the pulley that gives you this range versus the pulley that comes with the machine that gives you this range. So you can really kind of crawl with it, uh, you know, and of course you have more control with your pedal but um, a smaller pulley might just do the trick for you if you're looking to slow down and let's keep going with the next slide here's our model 1508 extra heavy duty so it's the NC 1508 NH it has the foot control knob on top big bobbin reverse extra high lift 1508 class power and ability uh, I may have got a little carried away with this video when I did it about four years ago 
Uh, <laughs> we show some upholstery work, but we wanted to show how heavy duty it is. So we took some real industrial carpet, folded it in half, I think once or twice, and uh, you know, ran it through the machine. We've done that at SEMA as well, and it really speaks to the industrial ability. Here's our bread and butter the last 25 years. This is our model NC6. Um, it's made for us in Japan, and we've had this machine forever, um, you know, way before my time. Uh, this specific one, I think it's about 25 years now. And um, the NC6 is, to me, the smoothest machine we sell, that along with the NC6L. It is a horizontal axis walking foot and just a real pleasure to sew on every day. And that's really the feedback I get on them. It just feels different, feels so smooth. Uh, another question, Ange, go ahead. What's the most popular long arm size? The most popular long arm size is traditionally 25 inch, which we have in the 1508. For us, our company, our most popular long arm size is the 30. We were offering the 30 just about before anybody else was. I mean, you had Juki and you had Adler for a million years, had the 30s, but not everyone can afford 15, $20,000 machines. So uh, my father had the wherewithal, you know, gosh, going back to the, I would think late 80s, early 90s, and started importing uh, long arm machines. And that NC6L, like I said before, it's been with us since the 90s, and it's a complete home run. It's a 30 inch long arm, and um, it's, it, it, it rings all the bells. And anyone that has them can give you hundreds of references on the machine. Here's our leather skiving machine. I'm gonna scroll through some images, some video, and Chris from Bucks Customs in Pottstown, Pennsylvania was nice enough to have me as a guest there. I mean, I've been there a bunch of times, but uh, a few weeks ago, we shot this video uh, in his shop. He employs a skiver, and we're gonna roll that for you guys now. Hi, this is Chris from Bucks Customs. We specialize in high-end automotive interiors. We've also been branching out into leather good products. We got the guys from NC up here today. We're gonna bring you into the shop and show you how we use the NC skiver. Right now, we got, we're working on the Bucks tote bags. So this kind of, as far as the skiver, this will show you a little bit of what it does. We'll skive in about a half of an inch on the edge just to thin it down for the seams so you don't have too much fatness. Come on over to the machine and we'll show you how it runs and go from there. Okay. Alrighty guys. So before you run anything through the, through the machine, first you're going to want to maybe test out your actual material and get the thickness down to where you need it. Uh, this pretty much operates just like a normal presser foot. So you can go up and down. Um, this is actually kind of like the, like the spring tension. If you're not using the machine, keep the lever up, that way you don't wear the spring down. Um, just kind of, that, that's like a little tip as well. So we're gonna, let's just try this out first. You always wanna keep it sharp. Uh, pretty much anytime we're doing anything new, especially if you're running something long, like a dashboard piece or carpet binding, definitely make sure your, your blade's fresh. Um, it's just a big giant, like a four or five inch bell. Keep your fingers out of there. So you can have as much or little as you want. I like to do half inch, that's pretty much roughly what we do for our seam allowance. Uh, this also works out well without having to really use too many markings. Just once it's skived down, like so, I mean, boom, you know exactly where to stitch. I'll go around and do this as well. We, we use this machine for everything, especially whether or not we're doing Carpet, I used it on vinyl the other day when we were doing piping, and you want to, you want to thin things down. Uh, it's pretty much endless as to, as to what you can do. Can you guys pause here for a second? You can replay that slide. Let's just go back to the Skyver real quick. And you can put it on me for a second. That'd be great. Just want to give a big thanks to Chris. Uh, same as Shane, really came through for us. I appreciate you guys letting us in the shop and taking up your time. And uh, I hope that video helps you guys as well as Shane's with some different tips for the different machines. And um, oh, we had a couple questions, I think, Ange, during the break. What do you got, hon? Uh, is there a video or something for the Skyver on all of the adjustments and what they do? Okay, yes. We have been 
should have done our own video for a long time now. But we send off, if someone asks, which they typically do, because the Skyver, if you never used it, is, you know, has a bunch of different knobs. And there's videos all over YouTube. They're all pretty much universal. They're all copies of the Fortuna Skyver uh, that has been around forever and is the, you know, elite of the elite as far as Skyvers go. If you can afford it, go for it. Um, our Skyver is another one we can't keep in stock. Uh, over the past year, our Skyver has actually eclipsed the sales of our long arms and our twin needle machines. That's how many Skyvers that we've been selling. Um, what's the next question? Uh, would the long arm be good for a primary machine in a primary automotive shop? Okay. Um, in a word, no. I've never had someone tell me that, I, I've had a couple guys that do it, but more often than not, I've always, guys, it's cumbersome. You're reaching over all the time reaching over all the time. I know Scott from LaFrance uh, covers in Massachusetts. Scott LaFrance is, you know, great upholsterer, and I think he may be one of the guys that uses his long arm for everything, so if you want to hit him up and ask, but it's a little cumbersome. You're a lot more comfortable working like this versus constantly working like this. The good news about the long arm is whenever you have to sew deep, sew seat backs, anything that involves you bunching up the material, the, the, the long arms essentially eliminate all that hassle, make your sewing life easier, it helps you sew faster, um, you're not creasing your product, and um, just, you know, it's, if you can afford it and you have the work, that's one thing I would spoil myself on if I was an upholsterer as a long arm. And the other part of that question was a portable, portable? Yeah, we can make portable walking foots in the future. No, we toyed with it, and we actually had a prototype on a portable walking foot just to try to improve uh, the other ones that were out there, and they're just not heavy duty enough. It would never be up to snuff. It would be almost like using a house machine to do uh, upholstery interiors, and it's not something that we would uh, have on the slate or the agenda, but that's a good question. Okay, we're going to go to the next slide. JK Tapes. Now, we have JK Tapes that we took on uh, distributing their supply, their, their tapes, interior, interior panel protection tape. So if you're running interiors, you're gonna see pictures in a minute. Uh, and these can go on your dashes, on your seats, as long as they're not dyed. And there is paint protection tape, which we have in three different sizes. We have them in four inch, nine inch, and 14 inch. There's the interior panel protection tape. If you're wrenching on cars, guys, if cars are in your shop for a long time, which I know they are, these tapes are tremendous. Um, if this is something you guys, as a result of watching the video, want, I'm going to run 15% off the interior panel protection tape, 10% off the paint protection tape, and free shipping if you order two rolls or more. We also have things like the exterior and interior wrap, double-sided foam tapes. You saw their website scroll before. They're all listed on our website. All the pricing is there. Um, Take a peek, JK Tapes is a high quality product. We typically don't take on distributing other people's byproduct line, but uh, Jeremy up there is pretty convincing. We really like each other, and I said, what the heck, and it's been a pretty good marriage so far. I hope he's happy with me, um, you know, and our results. But um, yeah, if that helps you guys, give it a dance. I know you've seen it on, you know, Instagram and Facebook, guys posting with it. The best part of it for me, just from a non-upholsterer, someone who doesn't work on cars, and the last thing you want is me touching your stuff, is the ability to take that tape on and off, repeatedly on and off. So you can get multiple uses on it, because it is expensive. But it's the best that's out there, nothing touches it. Any more questions? Okay. So we have some tools here that will streamline your operation. So we have cutting tools for leather, for carpet, extra heavy duty and light duty and everything in between. Carpet design carvers like you know Lloyd Matz or other companies use to uh, do small beveling or designs. We have heavy duty uh, cutters, six inch cutters. You can make them upright. You can put them in a walk behind. If you're cutting aircraft runners, you know boat carpet, whatever the case. Pause here for a second. This is one of my favorite tools. This is our top shear. I don't know if there's a big market in the auto, aircraft, and marine industry for this tool, but this tool gets purchased constantly by carpet OEMs as well as carpet cleaning and restoration companies. And essentially what they do, this tool shears down uneven pile heights, gets rid of the fuzzies, and also uh, brings back color and pattern definition to your carpet. You have auto match you don't want to get rid of, but that top 16th of an inch looks like it's been through a war. 
this will shear it down. You have to be very careful, but you can essentially make your old carpet look new, bring back the color, bring back the clarity, pull up the carpet pile, has to be a cut pile, not loop pile. If this is a tool that can help you guys with any of those issues, it's a complete home run. Our family makes it in the USA in the last seven, eight years. And there's a question. Uh, do, you, do you guys sell servo conversion kits? Um, we can just send you the servo motor. I mean, even I'm capable of putting a servo motor on, it's not that hard. So we just send you it out, we send it to you with the wiring, you take off your existing motor and put that on. This tool I really like, uh, whether it's for marine runners, aircraft runners predominantly, uh, even small rugs, it is our six inch USA made carpet cutting knife setup. It's on wheels, completely portable. Um, and this one is set up with a walk, beho walk behind lawnmower style. Um, it's adjustable up to 48 inches. If you needed more, we can give you more. But um, this unit cuts runners so much faster and with precision than doing it by hand. So if you do a lot of runners, uh, this is a tool you have to look into. It will streamline your operation tenfold versus manual cutting. Is that it for the slides? I can't remember. And we're just going to run through some, there, here we go. We're going to run through some different slides here. Here you'll see some automats, some different interiors, pictures of our um, past trade shows, whether it's at SEMA, NBAA. Um, so we just want to thank everybody. It's been a, you know, as a company that's been around since 1947, we've grown and grown and grown, and we can't really do that without you guys. In you know, we've met a lot of people along the way from people just like us, to high profile clients, to high profile OEMs, and everybody in between. And it's just been a, you know, a tremendous journey. We look forward to continuing to grow with you guys. We don't really sit on the sidelines for anything, pandemic or otherwise. I am full throttle down. Um, you know, our family always has been. And um, you know, that's something we're, we'll never stop doing. So if you're entrusting us with your business, if you're entrusting us with your future, um, you know, you're in good hands. It's, it, we don't relent, we don't slow down. We may not be able to do trade shows, but putting on big productions like these um, is the easiest way we can, you know, try to relate to you guys, because we know, we, you know you want to see product. It's the best we could do with the current situation. We definitely miss meeting up with you guys and seeing each other, seeing everyone at trade shows. Uh, I've been, you know, seeing my aircraft guys for 20 years, every year at the show. I see everybody, SEMA, the last three years, 2008, 2014, and the last three years. So those kind of things we miss. We're just trying to fill in the void a little bit. I hope this helps you guys. Um, you know, and the specials are going on now. If you want to take advantage of them, just like normal trade show time, go for it. We have the extended warranties and, uh, you know, everything in between. Big thanks to the NC team um, for helping us with this and helping promote the event. Uh, you have Chris from Bucks Customs, um, Shane at Sewn Tight. Uh, Kato's Custom Upholstery, Interiors by Shannon, The Hog Ring, uh, The Custom Stitching Company, Stitchcraft, and I'm leaving out one. I'm going to be in trouble in a second. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I think I went too fast. <laughs> Someone's going to be mad at me. Oh, uh, Customs by Voss, Dave. So that should be all eight. And uh, if you haven't yet, you really should tune in to The Hog Ring. Um, it's free. Sign up, and it's you know a great industry, um, you know online source for information, for you know industry news, etc. And uh, we promise we'll be back at NBAA, at SEMA, and hopefully IBEX as soon as those trade shows reopen their doors. We'll be back exhibiting, um, you know, as soon as we can. We were holding out hope that we'd be able to do. SEMA and NBAA this year, it didn't happen. So this is the best we can come up with. Anything else you guys wanna see or hear from us, let us know. And the next trade show, we'll try to incorporate it. And um, that's it guys, any more questions or we're all set? Uh, Daniel Arandalo wants to give a shout out. <laughs> hey Daniel, how are you? He was uh, texting me this morning before the event. And I think you were my last correspondence that I had other than with the uh, with the, uh, with the guys before the production, the, the hog ring and everything, so. But uh, big shout out to everyone who came in. Appreciate you, we'll be announcing the winner soon. And here's another question, go ahead. Uh, what's the pricing on shipping to the West Coast on the NC-1508 and uh, West Coast shipping with a loading dock or forklift, commercial address, you're looking at $250. That's it? Okay, all right everybody. 
No, I'm definitely not. It's too soon. I would consider it, but it's too soon. We've been to HAI before. Uh, we have helicopter clients over the years. Um, it's never been the greatest show for us. I've walked it. I've exhibited there. I put the time in a couple years in a row. You know, we got some orders out of it, but the volume of interest wasn't huge. So I know a lot of the helicopter guys outsource a lot of their work. Like, um, you know, a big client that we have forever is overseas, Stuart from Farnborough Aircraft Interiors. He does a lot of heli work overseas, especially in Europe. He's very well known. His, you know, design work is impeccable. But then that's kind of a lot of, you know, how it works here as well. A lot of the heli stuff gets subbed out. So a lot of the shops that buy already have our stuff, which is great, but I don't get to see a lot of clients there. I wish I did, I'd go. That's it. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up, everybody. Um, make sure you stay tuned in on our Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A lot of helpful stuff on there, tips, videos, etc. Facebook, and our website is always kept up to date with what's happening. Again, take care, everybody. God bless, and thank you for tuning in.